Cursor is a very powerful IDE, but only if it follows what you want or if it follows your style. So we're going to fix that by setting up rules so AI codes the way you want. So first of all, what are rules in Cursor? Rules in Cursor are basically ground rules for your AI. Instead of reminding it every single time, don't over explain your response. You just set them once and Cursor will remember that and Cursor will follow that rule. So to set them up, it's pretty easy. All you need to do is go to Cursor and then press Control Shift P if you're on Windows or if you're on Mac, Command Shift P, I believe. And just search for Cursor, Cursor settings. Or if you want, you can just go to File and Preferences and then it should be here, Cursor Settings. And here, look for Rules and Memories. We have three things here. We have Memories, we have User Rules, and that's what we want. And we also have Project Rules. We're going to get to that later on. Let's just focus on User Rules for now. User Rules are rules that apply everywhere. No matter what projects you're working on or where you are, it applies everywhere okay so let's say we add a rule for example for every single response that you make start with hello bernard subscribe to weekly and it doesn't make any sense hello subscribe to weekly how just an example click done and now if we open the ai panel or AI pane, we can just say hi. And it's going to start with hello, subscribe to Weekly How. So that is user rule. You can do a lot of things here. You can tell Cursor to always create variables in camel case or in snake case, etc. So let's actually try that. So I'm going to add a new rule for every variable that you make in JavaScript, for example. Make sure to use camel case click done and we just need to create a new chat so let's say create a new js file with five variables that uses two or three words and as you can see it says hello subscribe to weekly how and now it's going to create these variables in a camel case naming convention because that's what we said here in the user rules now let's move on to project rules project rules are rules that only applies to the project that you have opened so for example here i have ruler project opened that means whatever rules i make here will only be applied to this project to this ruler project. Now let me give you an example, but there are actually two ways to, or probably more, there are actually multiple ways to create project rules. First one is by clicking the add rule and that's going to ask you for a name. So for example, let's call this file name. And it's going to create file name.mdc and you'll find it as well here in the cursor folder and under the rules folder. And in the description, you can tell it for every variable, or not, for every file you make, add a, add the word nice. <laughs> and now this is going to be used in this project. So let's say create a new JavaScript file. But that's not going to work. We need to create a new chat because we need to refresh it. There you go, as you can see, it's now going to use the rule file name. And it's a <laughs> nice script. Now, the second way to create a project rule is through the chat. So you can create a new rule by typing at, and then you're going to say rules, and then you're going to click add a new rule. And that's going to do the same thing. It's going to ask you for a name. You can just say, wow. And then here, you just do the same thing. But now notice that it says apply manually. Previously, it says apply intelligently. But now since it says apply manually, you're going to have to use this manually. I'm going to show you how. So let's say, say wow at the end of your response. So this is, these are very bad examples, but I just want to show you how to create those rules so you can customize or create whatever rules you want to make. So let's save that, but now it says apply intelligently. We're going to change it back to apply manually. And now if we go back here, we're going to say at rule, and then we're going to select the wow.mdc. That's how you apply it manually. And then you're going to type hi. There you go, it says wow at the very end. 
that the next rule that I'm going to do is for those of you who watches my Shopify videos. So if you guys remember, every single time we ask, we ask AI to create a new Shopify app, it's going to use npx init or npm init at Shopify forward slash app, right? But you can actually make rules to ensure that AI will use Shopify CLI. So we're going to try that, okay? I'm going to start a new chat and I'm going to say, how do you create a new Shopify app? And there you go, as you can see, it says Shopify app create node. It's supposed to be Shopify app in it. It's also saying Shopify app serve when it's supposed to be Shopify app dev. So we're going to create a new rule and we're going to call this Shopify app. And for this, we're going to say, make sure to use Shopify CLI. So again, make sure to use Shopify CLI for when you create a new Shopify app and make sure to use the Shopify app init command instead of the Shopify app create command. Okay, so we're going to save that. And now we're going to ask it again, how to create a new Shopify app. And there you know it's using the Shopify app rule. And now it says npm install dash G. We're not gonna run that. And now it's using Shopify app init. There we go. So that's how you set up rules in Cursor. User rules for global preferences and project rules for, well, project specific control. And like what you've seen in this video, you just need to set them up once and Cursor becomes way more consistent. Or you can personalize it and make corny jokes like what I did earlier. <laughs> and that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, let me know by hitting the like button and subscribe to Weekly How for more videos like this. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.